Hello guys, how are you doing? So let's try this problem here, which is very simple actually. The shape looks complicated, but there's nothing complicated about this problem. The only thing that you have to know first, determine the equivalent resultant force and couple moment at O. What is the resultant force? The resultant force is just the area of this curve or this load. And that load is defined by this equation. So if we want to find the resultant force, the only thing that we have to do is let's do summation of forces, which is just the, result, the area of that. And the area of that is just going to be the integral under that curve. What is the integral of that curve? One third of x to the third. And this is not working very well. So let me switch. One third of that dx. And that goes from 0 to 3. By doing the integration of this, it's just going to be 1, 3, x to the 4th, and this goes down as well, divided by 4 between 0 and 3, or 1 over 12, x to the 4th, from 0 to 3. When you evaluate this, you get 6.75 kilonewton. Now, keep in mind that I didn't put any sign in the equation, but because the loads are acting downward, that means that this one is going to be acting downward as well. Now, the second part is just the summation of moments. Well, the summation of moments, what is the summation of moments? The resultant moment is just going to be a distance or r cross f or a distance times a force and that's what it's going to be now the only tricky which is not tricky part about this is how do you find that distance of course we don't have a force we have a differential of force but we have a distance the differential of force remember is defined by that equation over there if I was measuring from this end and I want to find the moment with respect to the point A, let's see, let's say the distance will be this distance to any point. And that distance to any point is represented by the value of x in this equation. That will be x. However, in our case, we have to measure it from this end. This is the distance that I'm looking for. Well, if this distance is x and the total distance from here to here is x, then at any point, I can say that the distance is going to be 3 minus x. So if I want to find the resultant moment, the resultant moment will be the integral of that distance, 3 minus x, multiply by the differential, not the resultant force, the differential of the force, which is given by that equation. One third of x to the third dx. And once you solve this, this and this cancel out, so you're gonna, you can break down this into two integrals, so you can just do it. And of course, between zero and three, because those are your limits, now you multiply this times this, this 3 and this 3 cancel out, so you are going to have the integral of x to the third minus uh, one third of x to the fourth dx, which is no other thing than x to the fourth divided by 4 minus 1, this is x to the 5, you pass it to the bottom, 5 times 3 is 15 x to the 5 between 0 and 3. So the resultant moment with respect to O will be 4.05 kilonewton meter. In the same way that we did before, remember, if you are here, the force is acting downward, and you have this distance, the produced moment is going to be in this direction. And that direction is this counterclockwise 
Another way you could solve this problem is just by finding the resultant force, which we already did. But then we have to determine where the centroid of this load is. But I don't want to go into those details because this is touch uh, in chapter nine is when we learn how to do the centroid. But just keep in mind, if you can determine the centroid of this shape, which is really easy, the centroid will be only the integral of x dA divided by the integral of dA. That's the way you find the centroid. But if you find this distance from this point, that x bar, and multiply by this, you should get the same result. If you know how to do that, Go do it and check it. I hope you like it. This is a really sh sh small problem, but people get confused. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for learning.